Right. Hello, 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 and welcome, everyone. This is the Demonic Tutor. We did another premiere draft, our second draft of March of the Machine. Let's go ahead and get started. We now have a little bit more data from 17 Lands, so we will be using 17 Lands information as an aid. Okay. Let's make sure information's ready. Let's do this. All right, so it looks like a rare is Zephyr Singer. Convoke Flying Vigi. Uh, three, four, put a flying counter on each creature that convoked it. That sounds pretty cool. I'm curious to see how it performs here. Singer, 62.5, sure. Uh, let's look at some other cards that we have here. I know Furnace Rains, has gone pretty well because apparently a lot of sack synergies. Overgrown Pest, I know, is a, uh, has performed really well for me. Uh, Phyrexian Sensor is interesting, kind of limits the uh, spells that the opponent, that uh, people can cast, non Phyrexian, that is. Uh, how's Tarkir? Okay, the Invasion of Shurn. Draw three cards. Okay, that could be pretty good. Riverin. That was 54, 6. Okay. All right. So the next card we have, ooh, Fairy Mastermind. I know this is a pretty solid card. So we can flash this in, um, and then when they draw their second card, we can draw a card. Um... At the very least, it's a uh, you know flying two one. Always though curious though like, uh, you know because it basically means both players are, are drawing cards, but I guess we get the advantage because we get to act on the on the cards before they do. Let's see, invasion Kamigawa. Okay, you get to tap something down for an attack. Oracle of Tragedy, draw a discard. Okay, from your graveyard into your library, so okay. Halo Forger, I know, got some pretty good reviews here. Uh, pay X, and then you can cast uh, Instant Sorcery from the graveyard again. Okay, cool. All right, so we could go blue-black flyers. Let's see, Preening Champion, I like this great two bodies. I think we stick with blue. There's also Final Flourish, pretty good removal spell. We can also, uh, if we need to splash a color, uh, Skirting Surveyor looks like a pretty good um, fixer. We could probably save for a counter, I guess. Well, uh, two or less, or um, yeah, this is pretty uh, limited here. Timurit is also pretty solid pickup if we do go into blue-black. How does Awakening hold up with Vigilance? Just curious. Awakening has a 55.1 win rate. Sunder the Gateway. Artifact or Enchantment opponent controls. Seems okay. Okay, clunky. So if we go blue black, we could go into Zoom Informant. Bruiser doesn't seem to be something that we're looking for. Because then we would turn it to combat. Well maybe. I mean we do have ETB effects with Preening Champion. Preening Champion, Zephyr Singer can give more flying creatures. So maybe there is a place for a scrappy bruiser. Not sure. Maybe we go into Zoomy Informant and we're just going to anticipate that we do go blue black. How is a artistic refusal? The fact that we could do both. That actually seems pretty good. That actually, it's a pretty good card, huh? Oh, dang it. Missed the refusal. All right. Okay. 
Transform, not sure. We see a lot of white here. There's Streetwise Negotiator. Um, okay, so that mm, will kind of help the singer, but not quite. But this has become a 3-3 three, three with a backup. Um, these are not... Oh, Bird Knight. This does create another body. Let's go the Streetwise Negotiator, I guess. Converter Beast is also a hard, pretty good card here. Okay. There's Overgrown Pest. Etch Host Doombringer is a pretty, I think, decent, uh, uh, what do you call it? High end to, you know, gain two life, lose two life. Another flying creature. Top of your library. I think we could just go with Overgrown Pass. That's a late volcanic spite, though. Hmm. See a lot of good cards here. I haven't seen much red. I guess 58. Yeah. I know Render Inert can be pretty good, but um, I think we. Because you can use this to get rid of, like, a. A token, but you can also use it to flip one of these like uh, um, battles. And I think we might want to try to maybe get one of these battles here. How does disturbing conversion mill and then it's creatures in the controller's graveyard? Okay, blade battle fan could also be a pretty decent trick, but you can probably maybe find one a little bit later. Um, I think we probably try Invasion of Xerax, a little tempo, and, and it goes with Flyers too. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, how's Moment of Truth? There's Temporal Cleansing. Hmm, huh, Temporal Cleansing. Again, these Convoke creatures, pretty cool. This court, not good. Alright, we'll go with Temporal Cleansing here. Let's see how much we can make this Convoke stand up. Phyrexian Sensor. This seems a little interesting here, right? Maybe you'll give it a chance to counter stuff. We could also go with the Dune Shaper. How is the Dune Shaper as a card? It was like 53. 55. All right. So maybe we're going in like a blue-white direction. I don't mind getting a Cryptomancer. It's a flash, hexproof, so it basically it's a trick. All right, and then we and this also works with Convoke too, so I'm happy to play with that. I don't know how good change the equation is. Let's go with the Urn of Godfire. Yeah, let's go earn a Godfire in case uh, we want to splash something. Not really. It's here. On a target creature. Hmm. There might be a place for it. Yeah, but let's just go ahead and get the Mountain Cycler, I guess. There's another Convoke. Another Convoke. Uh, let's experiment with red here. Shade. Let's get a, a body here. Alright. Ooh, boy. Okay. 
So we have the Hoarding Brood Lord. Uh, not crazy about the blue cards that are here. Well, maybe there is Ephra's Dispersal. And Temporal Cleansing. I know Broodlord is awesome, but I think I might want to go with Tempo. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be playing black at all. The only color I really know that I'm playing is blue. Not seeing white cards that I want. Not seeing green cards that I want. I could splash the Lorwyn. So Dispersal, I think, is probably the best card here. Maybe we move into um, that gold card. I love myself a Maudie. But there's another Dispersal. Could delay more. Hmm. Yeah. How how quickly could do I think I get a six drop? If I have enough, if I have enough tempo, I guess I could. Let's maybe go with the Amadi. There's the Invasion of Kamigawa. Oracle Tragedy. Another Convoke. Another Ephorus Dispersal. Another Saiba. Let's try the Invasion. Well, we already have an Invasion of Xerix, right? Let's get another Ephorus Dispersal. Squadron could be good. Actually, ooh, Glistening Dawn could be really good too. If we go blue-green. Glistening Dawn. Just get a lot of Incubate. That's a pretty bomb card. Okay, could be Meeting at the Mines. There's a fight. I think maybe you just color try to go for the fight. I could convoke an aerial boost too. I think mines. I think that might wheel. Let's get a removal spell. I don't mind if, say, the ancient wheels. Aerial boost wheels, meeting of the minds. How is how is aerial boost? I think aerial boost would probably work pretty well. Yeah, it's a pretty decent trick. Earth, it must be blocked. I say just get the land here. Chanted land, moment of truth. Yeah, let's go for blue green land. Uh, machines is going okay. This is literally only just my second um, draft here, Aphid Boy. So went four and three my first draft. All right, so wait. Halo Charge Scrab. And then we can top a library. Oracle Tragedy. Astral Wingspan. Another Convoke. Hmm. Don't mind drawing a card. Although, how is it better than the scab, though? Oh, shoot. Should, I want to check what the Kavu did. did. Stasis feel. See, there's the blue-black that we're considering. Grabbing. There's a Wildwood Expert. Mm, in case I need two drops, I guess I could go Alabaster Host. 
Uh, no, let's go stasis field just in case I need some really bad removal. Okay, I like this. I like these instants that suddenly, like, make creatures big. You can draw a card then. There's also Joyful Storm Sculptor. Makes a lot of bodies. Has Convoke. Be good if I had more red. Still would rather get probably a Shapecraft here. Um... Although I might even have a chance to, to splash it. Let's go ahead and just grab that anyway. I like it better than the Rotten Fall. Um, so basically I have kind of like two choices of splashing. Okay, I don't think any of this looks really good. Let's get the Escort out. Okay, here's a ton of blue. How good is... I guess we'll just go with another Cryptomancer, but may, I'm just curious how that squadron is. That's okay. Alright, there's Meeting of the Minds. Sure. Don't mind getting more cards. Vengeant Earth. It must be blocked this turn. Sure. And there's the Scab. How good is Oracle of Tragedy, though? I'm just curious. Okay, great. All right. Anyways. All right. So I think the Black Dream is dead. There is a blue-white card. Instant sorcery dragon spells you control can't be countered. In sorcery spell in hand, Tyson, that spell gains rebound. Wow. Sure. All right, and there's also the Preening Champion, though. Mm, I think I just go with Preening Champion, though. I don't want to splash too much. As powerful as it is, I already have pretty decent four drops, I think. Let's go with the Preening Champion. Extra body, extra flyer. Yeah. Okay, saw a moment of truth. What does this do? Draw three cards and discard a card, okay. Oh, mage ring, eh. I guess it's okay. Converter beast. Okay. Let's grab another moment of truth. Okay, blue white land. I think I'll go with that. Passing up an overgrown pest though in a vague and a uh, vengeant earth though. Let's say view a land. Ooh. Let's get the Tranquil Cove anyway. It is one life. We're going to be splashing white. Okay, what does this do? Draw a card. Okay. I think we can work with this. Helps ramp up. Pyrulia. Not bad. We're seeing all red cards here. Okay, I think I want to go with the Skittering Survivor. There's also Tidal Terror. I do like Island Cycling. But I think I want to... Maybe Tidal Terror... We'll cross our fingers the Tidal Terror, terror will wheel. We'll go great with a Mahdi. But I think I want to get just a little bit more fixing here. Ooh, okay, Kraken. OK. 
cast a spell sure okay so we have oof boy okay there's sail back dinosaur i think we we take our chance with eric's methes it's going to be on our main colors Yeah, okay, it's not a very good card apparently, but let's mess around with it. Card, discard a card. Huh. Let's go with just the Tazawa. Just the two drop. There's a title terror. Sure. I don't have many knights. That's a very late Zalfir. Yeah, only like two knights. And all this wield. Nothing really blue black. Again, I guess we just rare draft. Attacking blocking creature. Let's rare draft. Okay, I guess we'll just get the convoke. Don't think we're gonna play it though. I uh, don't know how useful this will be. I have a kite sail just in case, because I think I already have a Vengeant Earth. Probably don't need another Urn of Godfire. Okay. And it can't be blocked. Okay. Seems interesting. Huh. We have a white red. Hmm. Okay, so this doesn't fly. But we do have quite a few cards with Convoke. Do we want to try to play this too? Or are we just going to try to just get all the colors? <laughs> Sounds like fun. All right, let's take a look at the mess that we have here. All right, let's start off with just all the blue-green stuff. Where is that too? Okay, so we have a lot of good flyers. Three. I don't think we're gonna be we're being trying to be aggressive. Hmm, if I had more Elfra's dispersals, I guess not. So we're trying to get to what glistening dawn. I guess we could we have a lot of options of instance, so I guess the scab can stay. Five slumber counters. So we spend four to be able to get a blue green. Is that worth it? Because it's so slow. 
He's just incredibly slow. I don't know how many spells we'll actually be able to cast. I think I'd rather have a card. Hmm. Power tough. Oh, or power or toughness one or less can't be blocked. So that means Streetwise Negotiator and Tetsuko Umazawa they can like attack basically through. That's not bad. Okay, how good of a defender do we want? I think we get rid of that. Okay. So this is a pretty decent blue-green deck. Wouldn't need these two. So now we can ask what colors do you think do we think might be worth um splashing over? Alright, let's get rid of the creature part here. So we had um blue-white that we could. I do like the idea of getting like a huge flyer. Um, number of creatures you control. I also like sculptor. It means well. How many? How, how much convoke do we have? Actually, that's that's a good question. Oh, only four. Okay, it's not as much as I thought. So not as much convoke as I thought. So the only thing I really see is just the invasion of Xerax. I mean, another bounce spell. Um, this is kind of cool because they can't be countered. Um, okay. Whenever you cast them, if attack this turn, spell gains rebound. So then we can exile it, and then at the beginning of the next episode, we can cast it from exile. We do have quite a few instants and sorceries. I think it might be worth it. For both this and Xerix? Let's give it a shot. Let's have fun with this. So if we have two, what do we get rid of? Do you have a lot of flash here? Do have a lot of options? Oof, I don't even know if you have room. Because I kind of like all these other cards here. Battle card at the top of your library. Is it worth to get rid of the scab? I think the tie gun might be worth it. I have enough. Let's see, are the only... Oh, I do wish I had more six or spells here. Uh, convoke. I do like drawing the card with the flyer. What would I put this on? Just like the, 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 the Tygum? Uh, maybe it's not worth it because I already have the Zephyr Singer. Let's just let's get rid of the wingspan. Okay, so I have a bunch of options here. I don't need the crag. Um, I have this option. The pest is going to help us draw. The perulia will help us draw. The surveyor will help us get to land too. So I think I can one. Um blue here, I think another green. Eight green sources, seven blue sources. Ooh, whoa, I actually have way more blue. Hmm. Seven, eight, nine blue sources, 
eight green sources, and then two white sources, although technically three, and a couple of ways to draw land. Seven, eight, nine. Get rid of an island. Seven, eight, six, seven, eight, and two. And then we have an island cycling. Okay, I think this works. I think this works. All right. All right. Okay, got our three colors. Oh, we need to switch our land, though. Okay. Trample Prowess. Ooh, that's a dangerous card. Okay. Let's cry three. Interesting that it didn't transform. What's the option to sack? Okay. Well, we now can put down a 1 1. It's great. Okay, so we have some sack synergies coming. Boo. Okay. That's not good. Okay. So that has to do it as a sorcery. If you transform this, would they have a uh, one mana? Huh, okay. So this I can assign damage through five and then maybe even like Cryptomancer? I guess I want the flyer, don't I? Or, hmm. They need to make twice is really good. I think I have to go with this here, the Glistening Dawn. Or the flyer. Hmm. Tough. Tough, tough, tough.
graveyard library. One that. Okay. Okay. Let's see. By glistening dawn, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. to grab that or that. Hmm. Block that, huh? Okay. Got it. This will be a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Haste. 3-4. Interesting. Five. I get this as a two-one. I think I take it, right? Attacking creature, sure. Oh no, I need to grab the flyer first. I need the flyer. Great. And I can respond if you transform. Nothing, huh? 
So I'm gonna grab this first. transform it. Opponent or battle. Got it. So I need to kill it right now. kill that. Oh, I should have. Oh, shoot. I should put that on there. Should have put it on the. Um, that was good enough. 336. Alright. 
see what we got here. Blue green. You can flash in the fairy mastermind. You can also Tetsuo. I like this. I like this a lot. Ooh, and we already got a white. Great. Love it. Okay, I don't want the Fairy Mastermind to die. Or, well, I guess I could just flash it in, right? And then get Skittering Surveyor next. Yeah, let's wait. Plane Cycling! Okay. Cool. Get some land. Another island. Yeah, another island. Kill that. Ooh, that's dangerous. Huh, I might need to bounce. So I can I can trick this to so the four three, or I attack now and just go for it. I can Ephra's dispersal actually. Find mine like well, I could just trade this off. It's not that big of a deal. So vigil vigilance. Yeah. I'm gonna do a trick. Go ahead. Oh, nice. Okay. I guess I'll Xerix you, right? Okay, well, I've got a couple options here, because I can... Oh... I could... No, I can't kill it. I can, though, attack here. But then this is going to come alive and attack me back, right? So I need to leave up one mana. I need to convoke it, though. But I have a Convoke here, right? I won't be able to attack it. I'll have four... No, I can offer his Dispersal for the attack. So it's fine. Return you back. We're gonna get you online. And then whatever um, token gets up here, I'm gonna just Disperse it. Fine. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I guess I just got the pest, right? Can't 
flash it. But I might as well get some stuff in the air, right? I'd rather get these two things in the air, though. I'll go ahead and temporal cleansing whatever comes next, I guess. Or can temporal cleansing that? You do. Death touch, draw a card. Okay. Ah, jerk. That's not nice. I guess I need to kill that thing now, right? Counter. Bigger creature. Oh, it's Death Touch. Dang it. I didn't realize it. That's me not paying attention. Okay, so I need to get this... I think I get this... Um... Ligam down, and then I can maybe Zephyr it. chances. I'm not taking my chances. Rebound. Okay. Let me go there. Enjoy. Okay, cool. 
Nice. We don't want to use that. Sure. Um, I guess they bring you back, right? Nice. Tempo, tempo, tempo. Blue, green, liking the colors. Okay, we're gonna need some help here. Cryptomancer isn't your typical, I think, two drop that you want to play early. Okay, I'll totally play that instead. Get the preening champion down. Okay, got some ramp going. Draw a card. Interesting. So 4-3 will not help me there. So I could turn that to a 4-4, right? I have two blue. So let's just go ahead and attack over the top. No. Okay. All right. Hmm. It's an instant I can hold off. So this will be a 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. I think I need to get, well, do I need to get a land now? I think I do. I think I need to get my land drop. Because I want the option of being able to kill something, or um, I want to—I really want to cascade that. So if I have to kill that, that's fine. Don't mind that at all. Um, or I kill that. Yeah, let's kill that. Sure. I want to block the... Because I want you to kill it first, so... If you want to waste a spell on that, please go ahead. Yep. Yeah, it's better that I did it now. And block the damage. Ooh, hey, Umori! So you're gonna make creatures? Okay, so I can't kill it yet. Oh, actually, no, I can't kill it now. If I wanted to. One, two, three, four, five, six, kill it. But do I want 
to take all that damage. No, I don't. I need to get the Cascade down. Sure. Uh, I put it on you. I'll kill Mori next turn. Nice. trade both of these right or no 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 um not both of them i can get rid of the phyrexian eventually let's get rid of the Th thespian even though they will um surveil One, two, three, let's see, I have six, this will be seven mana. Hmm. I'm in a lot of trouble though. Ugh, boy. Yeah, it's not good. A lot of damage out there. I could double block that. Then I'll have nothing. It's not looking good. Okay, well, I'm probably dead. <sighs> probably dead. Six, two. Praying for the top deck. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Now I definitely can't win. 
Like what card? Like maybe I get the surveil? Like what card could come up? Could I get a double face? No. And that'll do it. All right, how far down did my ranking go? 438. Green, mastermind, like this. Like it a lot, like FR's dispersal. Flashy creatures here. It's great. I'm wondering if I go to the ground. That's something that I want to do. Uh, I think so. I think so. I want to kill it. Yeah. I'd rather actually you kill the spite than um, kill the mastermind. And then what's great is, it, okay, they didn't, I was about to say is like, if they had anything I could have dispersed back, but. I guess I'll just dispersal next turn. See if they have a second. Oh, they might have a second. Well, no, they could sacrifice. Uh, they have another removal. Annoying. Well, we're getting rid of the removal at least. Oh, there we go. Let's see if you have another removal. Oh, aren't we the lucky ones? to a battle. If I go to... I won't have enough to cast, right? to do it before you can tap. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, I think I'm gonna dispersal. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah.
Oh, dang it, too blue. Ugh. Dang it, Tapper. I'm annoyed. You down first. Okay, at least I'll be able to free that. Oh no, I, well, no, because I have to they can have to wait till their turn. Yeah. I can't the preening champion will not be a throw unless unless javelin uh javelin your attacks. I could, though, uh, Cryptomancer myself, though. Okay, that's fine. They waited. Oof.
Okay, so I have to be careful about creatures dying here. Be very careful about that, because this is going to lose... Uh, it's going to lose toughness. Okay. Another first striker. Okay, got it. 5-2. Okay. Okay, that's a chump block. So now I'm going to 4-4. Four, four. Mm. Annoying. I guess I can kill the Reaper. Six. See if you want to trade the javelinier for it. That's a good trade. I'm happy with that trade. Tap it. Okay, fine. Good. Okay, so now these will be able to attack freely. Oh, I can't convoke it. Not not enough mana. This can get across free though. I realize the Tetsuo allows me to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, give me a land. Untapped land, please. Untapped land. Ugh. Where's my untapped land? I swear. Saiba, Flash Hexproof, and the Meeting of the Minds. And that's my play. Thank you. 
There we go, finally. I wish I could cast all of this stuff, but it'll be leave too much damage open. But, oh, that would be sexy. Attack creatures, power any target. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna sack it to get my 11 power. Alright, playing a little bit of tempo, this is only my second draft, although I did play a little bit of the early access. Alright, so we have our Tetsuo down, preening champion, third turn, hopefully we'll get a white source soon, I think we keep that. 
So, Cake, have you had a chance to uh, play a little bit since the new set came out? I've been looking at the numbers from 17 lands. The meta is actually pretty balanced. It's the most balanced I've seen um, in a while. Well, that's annoying. Uh, we do not want you to make treasure tokens, so... We're going to bring down a blocker. That was mean. They're going to be making some tokens. Not cool. Alright, well. We're going to block with anything they got. What is that? Haste? Really? What? How do you get both of these that create treasure? That is so annoying. They are going to ramp up like crazy. I'm going to wait. Really don't want an island cycle here. Because I'm one land away from casting my Tidal Terror. So this Tal Taigam could be... Uh, an annoying hole. Empty card here. Not much I can do about that. I guess I just let you attack? Nah. I'm gonna, um... Whatever you cast. The opponent decides to cast something. Ugh. Well, that was a waste. Oh well. I'm just gonna have to uh, chump block with a fairy mastermind. Not looking forward to that. Ugh, and they could sack the creature anyway. drew the card well they already kind of drew their second card like in a while so okay let's see what cascade we got perfect oh can i kill it no i want the planes i need the planes um i don't need the forest Not blocking. So. I need to cascade one more time. I need to cascade one more time for value. Ugh, final flourish. Ugh, this is brutal. God, Archpiece of Shadows is horrible. Final Flourish is bad. Okay, good. They're letting me, um... They're gonna let me flourish. Hopefully you don't kill it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. 
All right. Get one more cascade out of it. Perfect. Great blocker. Let's do this. Death touch. Return target creature card. Ugh. That's not good. Oh, wow. And they cast it just completely. Just because it's freaking there. Wow. So you can get to be a seven? Oh, but it has to be actually only as a sorcery. Yeah, we're down a lot of cards. And there's another one! Great. Wow, so many cards. Oh, boy, you just chump it. Ooh, I can kill you though. That's great. That's a great pickup. six cards what can they do to to my board ooh that's a great card This is scary. I'm going to have to chump block this here. And it's trample. Okay, so there goes my life. It's pretty frightening stuff here. Okay, a sorcery. Dang it. It's a sorcery. <sighs> but it won't have haste. So, it's like I keep attacking. Mm hmm.
Hopefully this gives me enough time to get my battles down. Okay. Okay, yeah, they don't have haste, so... Alright, let's open up these battles. Can you kill it? Okay. Or two. Okay, eight. Go. Is this going to be enough? Three, one, trample. Ugh, sacrifice. Scary. Scary. Okay, but it's 10. They have to block. They have to block. Face. Let's go. Come on. Let's do this. No removal. No presence on the board. Oh, no. And they can trans... Oh, they can't transform, though. They can't transform. Okay, but if it dies... Okay, this works. Oh, no, I made a mistake. I could have gotten lethal. I forgot this can... um. I made a mistake. Because I could have made this, um, I could have made them, um, unblockable. I keep forgetting. Well, I got lucky. I missed lethal. Woo! Mercy. Let's go! We're facing a pasta pirate. Okay, got three lands. Have a three drop. Temporal cleansing a little bit slow. A little bit slow here as well. But I think this is still enough to keep. Alright. We do have a streetwise negotiator. Be a good blocker. Could also go well with the shapecraft. Okay, so it's not going to transform for a while. Although it might transform in time. No, it needs to get four mana. Do they want to attack, though? Because this is going to uh, attack for three. They have to really think about it. Okay, they are going to attack. Okay, well, I'm going to attack them. They're going to return it? Fine. What's great about Preening Champion, also too, the reason why the extra bodies are so awesome is that they may, when you have two bodies, they basically act as mana sources for Convoke. So that's excellent. land down no no land down okay so they'll be able to attack through 
All right, let's see what options I have here. I can shape craft to draw. I can glistening dawn. Um, I can overgrown pest. I think I overgrown pest. I want to get more land out so dawn becomes better. And then if I overgrown pest, I still have the chance of Ifara's dispersal. Especially if they decide to transform. So I think that's the play here. We're going to go ahead and attack over the top. We're going to go ahead and overgrown pest here. Um, No, I need to do two green here. Freaking auto tapper almost screwing with me once again. I don't have my white mana, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab the forest. We'll say go. I'm really hoping that they'll transform. Well, I mean, the transform will be good because they'll still be able to um, ramp with a land card. What does this do? Ooh, okay. Attack face. I'll be able to attack anyway. All these will be able to attack. Oh, that's nice. Tetsuko and we'll be get 1-1 one, one creatures. That's really good. I'm still going to go ahead and surveil here. Ooh, boy, both of those are good. I think I fear Mastermind. All right, here's what I think I do. Temporal, oh, Temporal Cleansing is a sorcery. I forgot. This is not Convoke. This is Convoke. So I'm going to tap this. Or I can take the 1-1 one, one out. I feel like I want to take the Tetsuo out. It'll delay a little bit longer. No. I think I'm anyway. Kill you. dead. Attack with both. And then we say go. Um, we can streetwise too. No, we're going to, I think, flash uh, Fairy Mastermind in. I like I like that better. Equal number of artifacts you control. How many artifacts they have? They don't have any artifacts. Oh, the the um the vehicle will be an artifact. If I can get off this glistening dawn, um, and I can get the biggest creatures out, I think I'll be in really good shape. Yeah, attacking the battle isn't very good, because this is not a very good, um, I mean, what, a flying vehicle with not many artifacts? Like, they're going to need to get more um, incubate. Five. Excess damage, exile. Okay, got it, and play the exile card. Cool. So they want to land, I guess? Going for a land? Okay, cool. What's also great too with Incubate, 
Um, these are zero zero creatures, so then when you put it on like a Zalfin's Shapecraft, this basically is a plus four plus three. I think we play this now. And then we play this out now too. Good luck. And because these uh um, when you activate them, they've been already on the battlefield, so they basically have haste. Yeah. Monster! Yeah. Um, one of the really special things about these uh, incubate tokens is that you can um, activate them at instant speed. That's incredible. Which means you can uh, avoid a lot of removal. And you can, um, again, you can activate your turn, you can activate in response to your opponent. Uh, it's really flexible. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. Only two lands we don't have are white. We have a Cryptomancer. If we can get another land that Ogrom Pest, I think, makes us a keepable hand. We are going to need one more land drop, preferably a... Uh, uh, Okay, not quite what we wanted, but I think that's fine. We can save the Cryptomancer for um, later. Okay. All right, what are you going to get rid of? Xerix? It's either Xerix, the Pest, or the Cryptomancer. Or the in Incubate 3. The Pest. Yeah. Uh, let's... Well... Let's scry three now. I like all these cards. I don't think Moment of Truth we need. I like the Zephyr Singer, though. We're going to have some options now um, on turn four. Lots of options on turn four, actually. Okay. This is going to be a one-two. It's not going to be enough for the Etched Familiar. Um, I have a Convoke here, so I still might want to put down the Cryptomancer anyway. You can also Temporal Cleansing. Well, Temporal Cleansing I want to kind of save maybe for Incubate Tokens, though. Ooh, that's dangerous. Ooh, transforms into a Fraxian, so I need to take care of these counters. It's gonna be super dangerous. I might need to work my way into the Ferulia, so I'm going to go ahead and actually, um... I'm actually going to cast this now. Um... Uh, this is non-land permanent. Ooh, great. I can actually, re uh, cast this in response. So I'm actually happy about that. Uh... But it'll still be one mana. Let me see what they do here. Not 
ready yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four damage. Play the Amati. I need that land. Um. Yeah, that hurts. That really hurts. Wow! So much. Um. Okay. I think I can attack if if they let me through. I can draw the card. Dang it. Mm. I'll still draw the card. Alright, they're gonna have a pretty big attack, but that's fine. Hmm. Let's see what I, my options are. <sighs> Problem is, like, I need to get this singer down. I guess I could put the singer down, right? Better as a blocker. I mean, if it dies, it dies. Like, this is really my only shot, right? And I don't want to... Wait, why was it... Wait, why is it tapped? Oh, non... Because non-Phyrexian. Ugh. Didn't read that. Okay, well, go ahead and block there. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, they just had the aggression on me. Can't bounce all of them. Yeah, that board seat did not look fun. Um, from what I have played, because uh, the first draft I played, I did play, I think it was Black Green. Etched Familiar is a great card. Oh my gosh, right? Like, you can be super aggressive with it, and then even if you block it, Right, you get like a four life swing. Like both these cards are great. And Frexian Sensor, no, wait, actually no, the card that we're actually looking at is um the Norm's Inquisitor. Uh because if you can incubate a lot, man, this can this can be a monster card too. Uh just really good stuff. Protect to get to our big creatures. Um we just weren't gonna make it. Um okay. We have, uh, again, slow two drop. Three drop's pretty good. And then the Shapecraft can, like, take care of the one, one, two. So I like this. Okay. All right. We have our top end creature. Facing a blue-white deck. All right. Let's make sure just we get all of our colors. Island Cycle. All right, well, I'm not gonna island cycle. 
I got plenty of land here. Ooh, all right. Great mines. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna need to put on island. Come on. Okay. Let's see, wait. Uh, I will have enough, so I don't need that forest. Okay. I'm gonna attack. If they... Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and just shapecraft it. Now I got a big booty. I got a big booty daddy. With ward. All right, spend the ward. Stasis. All right, O2. I can block it. Oh, check this out. This is great. I leave this up. Um, this will be able to attack for a bit. Or do I Zephyr Singer? Yeah, no, here's what it'll do. Check this out. Yeah, baby. This could transform into a 3-3, possibly a 4-4, but I also have an invasion of Murganda. Exile, okay. So I'm gonna fight you. Because this is gonna do four damage. Right? Hmm. Dang it. Because if I do the four damage now, the Tetsuo can't actually get across. But I think it's worth it. Wait, so does fight... Oh, no, 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 no. It has to be... Hold on. Oh, it has Defender. Okay. So still does three damage. Okay, I need to put down Tidal Terror, right? Because now I can tap. Mm. Search anything? Nope. Four? Okay. Right. Oh, shoot. No, wait. Um... That's fine. I'm fine with that. If you have something special, that's fine too. If 
five. Is it indestructible? Ah, oh, indestructible, nice. What does this do? Lifelink indestructible is gonna call three other enchantments. We don't have enchantments. We're facing a water panda. I like pandas. But if you have to go down... Okay, this is tricky. It's very slow. I can... Ew, super slow. Oh my god. I don't know if this is worth playing, but I have my mana. Oh, it's so tempting. I am going first. Okay, so I'm going first. I, I, I will do it. Okay. Yeah. Because if there are any... So two drops, I'm gonna... Yeah, okay. That's... That sucks. Meeting the mine is so good, but... Okay. At least I can drop that down. I guess I wait, right? Where's that sneaky card? Alright, I'm not gonna block here. I just hope there's no removal. I would love to Zephyr Singer this. Well, so much for that. response maybe invasion you want to waste a trick on that to kill it that's fine what's this do oh oh that's disaster Oh my god, that's disaster. Um, I'm I am so dead. I needed both of those cards so badly. Well played. Well played, Water Panda. Hmm. Wow! Oh my god, that's a monster card too! Yeah, we're... Yeah, we're just facing too many bombs here. Yeah. Yeah. Our night ends here. But pretty good run. Nope. And here's what's sad. We went five, or we went six and three, and our rating dropped. We started at what, like 415-ish, I think? And then we're down to 450, even though we had a pretty successful draft. I mean, that's just the nature of, uh, you know, Mythic up here, right? But let's take a look at this 
uh, deck here one more time. So fun. Super fun. Right? We were able to splash a little bit of white. Uh, I think Ty both Tygam and Invasion of Xerix were both worth flashing. We were able to get a lot of uh, tempo. We were able to survive. Uh, you know, Invasion helped us ramp. Streetwise Negotiator is a great blocker. Uh, Shapecraft is a great surprise as well. Uh, Tetsuo Umazawa is such an interesting card because I didn't realize that this combos really well with the Negotiator because you can keep the power of the Negotiator low, but since it deals damage based on its toughness, um, we never got a chance to really use Negotiator to um, for unblockable damage, but it is a great option. Cryptomancer did its job here and there. I don't I don't think it was amazing, but you know it 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 was a nice surprise. Um, I actually would have you know now that we had so many flash creatures, I was thinking maybe uh, we could afford to have uh, some counters, but the early counters aren't very good. You know, they're like, oh, counter a uh, two-mana spell. We're like, yeah. Woman Truth's okay. Fairy Mastermind, we never really got to see it do its thing. That is, we never got to get, like, the card advantage that we wanted there. I think just having a Flash 2-1 Flyer is probably just worth it. And, I mean, look at the art on this card. Like, you know... A picture uh, a portrait of the world champion with like blue wings like you can't say no to that uh preening champion excellent in convoke decks right you get two bodies you basically get two uh what uh, mana stones essentially for your convoke cards and just uh one card for two bodies just generally we've learned um is a great deal Right? Just because it's a 1-1, one, one, we have to think about that 1-1 one, one as uh, a chumper, right? It's a way of saving like 10, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 four damage creature, right? You chump it, you block it, right? It's basically worth four life. So that's what that 1-1 uh, one, one can do uh, for us. Um, but what really were the MVPs here? Zephyr Singer. I really like Zephyr Singer, like that, plus the Glistening Dawn. Like, Glistening Dawn, there's, that's the reason why this is a bomb. Uh, you know, to incubate twice, and you're getting at least, like, two 4-4s four um, that are on the ready is just a monster, right? Uh, I love Emoti, I just wish I could get a chance to Cascade more, right? I just wish maybe I need more of these like cycling cards, maybe get that four cycling or island cycling cards. This combo here is just is just so cool. You just need to survive to be able to get some value with the Cascade, right? And then of course we have the uh, fight mechanic for uh, this battle, which is also really solid. So, I mean, I guess the only bomb that we really had was Glistening Dawn, you know? I mean, Singer, is a good card but i wouldn't call it a, a bomb exactly uh, just a real solid deck like you know for six wins i thought we did great so thank you all so much for watching if you like what you saw please like subscribe and comment uh and i will see you next time demonic tutor signing out